It's always a good day when I'm able to find Mini Racer singles. As I've said several times in the past, Mini Racer singles are just straight up not sold where I live. The blind boxes are not sold where I live. Uh, they're mainly sold in different chain grocery stores, uh, none of which exist in the state that I live in. So coming across these in the wild for me uh, is pretty uncommon, but it has been happening a bit more often lately as I've been checking more and more local toy stores. A store in my mall has been getting Mini Racer blind boxes in lately, and today I stopped by there and was able to pick up two releases from the 2022 Series 3 that I didn't have before, and today we're gonna open them up and take a look at them. Hello everybody, and welcome back to yet another video and to another Mini Racers unboxing. Always excited to do one of these. Today, we've just got two minis, but they should both be pretty cool ones. Of course, as always, I already know who these are. I checked their codes when I was in the store, of course. They had a pretty full box. Um, This wave, again, this is 2022 Series 3, the last wave they did before Cars on the Road came out. Uh, it contains three cars I don't already have. Unfortunately, they didn't have a full case there, so I was only able to get two of those three, but hey, you know, that's perfectly fine. Hopefully, I can pick up that other one in some capacity. These are numbers 25, and on the right we have number 26. So uh, if you know your Mini Racer codes exceptionally well, then I just spoiled these for you. Uh, but we'll start off by opening, let me make sure we open number 25 first. 25 is on the left, yep. All right, open it from this side. This is really difficult to do one handed. I really should have done this on my, uh, my tripod, but whatever. Let's see here. Hopefully everything is right. Number 25 should be, I'm just mutilating the box, I'm so sorry. Should be a. All right, we got Jonas Carvers, who was the sole new release for this Mini Racers wave. And a very cool one at that. Jonas Carvers probably has one of my favorite next gen designs. Absolutely love the red and dark red design on him. He, of course, uses the Tim Treadless Mini Racers mold, which means, unfortunately, uh, he has an inaccurate spoiler. The Mini Racers that use this mold all use the same spoiler, despite the fact that they are plastic plugins and thus should be swappable. Nope, they just use the same one every single time. Come on, mold new spoilers for the minis to make them more accurate. It's, it's not that hard. You do it for 155 scale, and these are plastic insert pieces. Could do that. Of course, he's got the same typical expression most minis of this mold have. Just looks kind of bored. Um, this one definitely looks a bit more lively. We've got the No Stall logo on him, of course. Number one, two, three on the side. Secondary sponsors, Piston Cap, Combustor, Carbon Cyber, and Synergy. One, two, three up there. Pretty accurate representation of the character, even though wheels are the right colors. No Stall on the back. Cool checker pattern going on there. Always nice to add another racer to my mini racers collection another next gen or another veteran racer i have i think most of them at this point i'm just missing some of the ones that have only been out in the boxes and not released in other places yet but on the subject of getting more racers for the mini racers line the next box here should check the uh, another one off of the list let's see here number 26 should be if my Googling of the codes uh, is correct. Guys, I really should use a tripod for this. I am. I'm so sorry. Okay. Hold on. There we go. I got it. Okay. It is. You see him in there? Dud Throttleman. One I'm very excited to have as I don't have many uh, Cars 3 Veteran Racers. And also, he's significantly more accurate than... The original Dud Throttleman. I've been waiting for a Dud Throttleman re-release for years because the original one has this blue fade design, which uh, is actually not that movie accurate. In the movie, there is a fade design, but it, it it's nowhere near as bright. He should be pretty much the same shade of blue throughout, just like this mini. Maybe a, a bit of shading, but yeah, this one, not the most accurate. A later running change um, fix that. Made him a bit more blue on the front, but he stopped being sold pretty soon after that. Uh, of course, we have the Mini now, which is a lot more accurate. And man, this just makes me like Dud's design a whole lot more. I'm going to be honest. I really like him better being this full, nice shade of blue, just like the other Mood Springs racers are. I really hope 
we got an updated release of Dud at some point soon. I feel like he's a, a character a lot of people kind of forget isn't the most accurate. Whenever I go to like a local toy store that's selling 2017 cars, I always check to see if they have a blue uh, front Dud. They never do. We got the Mood Springs logo there, of course, number 33. The 33s on him are meant to be sort of spring coil designs, just like the sponsor, of course, Mood Springs. Got the Lightyear logo, all the secondary sponsors there, number 33. Some very nicely detailed wheels. Always love the detail on the Mini Racer wheels. Mood Springs on the side and on the back in all the places you would expect the logo to be. The back, of course, is painted gray, which is pretty unique and different compared to some other racers. And you can see that just like on the regular release, the Moose Springs logo is a bit obstructed by the camera. The nice thing about the cameras on the mini racers of the Brickyardley model is that they're actually molded on. And they are part of the metal mold. It's probably pretty hard to see in the review. There you go. Now you can see it. It is part of the metal mold, which honestly is just really, really nice. Because here they're painted on and Brick in his original release infamously uh, didn't even have the camera painted on him so I guess when they got to the mini brick a few years later they were like no we can't let that happen again we need to make sure the camera's there so they molded it into the metal of the car very very cool so yeah just two mini racer piston cup racers but two I'm still very glad to add to my collection Dud's been around for a while now he's been in several waves great to add him and Jonas of course was a new release for 2022 so he's pretty great as well anyway guys thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye now